It was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. My lifestyle is so different than everyone else's that, you know, I don't know if marriage would be conducive to me being sitting here with you right now mm. and having, you know, my own stuff. Brother right here from day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. He said, it's, it's time. It's magic time. You know, it's, it's time for you to have that moment. Mm. I'm like, what, what you talking about? He's like... Today's entertainment headlines are buzzing with jaw-dropping developments, and we're here to unpack the latest sensation. Gear up as we delve into the enthralling legal tangle involving Usher, who's throwing his support behind Cassie and stirring the pot with his startling revelations about Diddy. The burning question that's got everyone talking, is Diddy facing potential arrest? To set the stage, let's take a quick step back and revisit the explosive situation between Cassie and Diddy. The music industry has been overshadowed by a series of grave allegations, as numerous courageous black female artists have come forward with their distressing experiences of domestic abuse and assault. In the midst of these, singer-songwriter Cassandra Cassie Ventura has made a bombshell accusation against her former beau, rapper Sean Diddy Combs, alleging a decade-long pattern of harrowing abuse. But wait, there's more. Usher enters the fray with a claim that Diddy once threatened to destroy rapper Kid Cootie's car over Cootie's apparent interest in Cassie. Hold on to your seats because we're about to unravel a complex web of celebrity scandals that will leave you astounded. If you're ready to ride this wave of high-profile drama, make sure to engage with us. Hit that like button, subscribe, and let's dive headfirst into this tempestuous saga. We begin our journey in 2005, where the love story of Diddy and Cassie first sparked, becoming public knowledge by 2007. During this time, Diddy had parted ways with Kim Porter, the mother of four of his children. The public got a glimpse of Cassie and Diddy together starting in 2012, marking an important chapter in their relationship. Things escalated in 2014 when Diddy shared a photo of a diamond ring, igniting engagement rumors. Cassie was seen wearing the ring, yet no formal confirmation followed. Fast forward to 2018, and the couple called it quits after a decade-long union. Now, Cassie is bringing serious allegations to the forefront, accusing Diddy of a vicious cycle of abuse, violence, and manipulation throughout their time together. She asserts that Diddy, leveraging his power, signed her to his label at the age of 19, effectively gaining dominance over her life. According to her, the decision to date Diddy in 2007 was made under duress. The lawsuit paints a grim picture of Diddy allegedly introducing her to leading to addiction and providing financial support that made it difficult for her to escape the abusive environment. The lawsuit sheds light on a series of harrowing incidents, describing brutal attacks in which Diddy reportedly concealed Cassie in various hotels to hide her injuries. The narrative takes an even darker turn, with allegations of coerced and filmed freak-off encounters with male causing Cassie immense distress. A notable incident in 2011, when Cassie briefly dated Kid Cutie, led to an alleged assault by Diddy, followed by a mysterious explosion of Cutie's car. The lawsuit also recounts a particularly disturbing event in 2018, where a conversation with Diddy escalated into an assault. In response to these serious accusations, Diddy's legal representative has outright denied them, claiming that Cassie's demands for $30 million were to prevent her from publishing a damaging book. On the other hand, Cassie's attorney praises her courage, mentioning that Diddy attempted to silence her with a financial offer. Despite these tumultuous times, Cassie has moved on, marrying Alex Fine in 2019 and requiring ongoing medical and psychological treatment for her trauma. Diddy, in 2022, released Gotta Move On, a track reflecting on his past with Cassie. Meanwhile, Cassie enjoys a happy life with Alex Fine and their two children. Fine subtly addressed the swirling rumors about Diddy on social media, adding another intriguing layer to this complex story. The narrative spanning from 2007 to 2018 between Diddy and Cassie suggests that her desire for marriage led to friction, as Diddy was not ready for such a commitment, contributing to their eventual split. Now, let's introduce the dynamic duo from the garden stage, brothers from the beginning. Imagine this, a nostalgic flashback to childhood squabbles over cereal, long before the concept of pause became a thing. Picture the younger brother, a mere 10-year-old, and his older sibling, locked in fierce competition for those prized boxes of Frosted Flakes. Fast forward to the early 1990s, and we step into the world of Usher and Sean Combs, better known as Diddy. Their relationship went beyond mere professional ties. Diddy took on a mentorship role for Usher, who joined LA Face Records as a young, promising artist. 
At just 14, Usher journeyed to New York to collaborate with the legendary Diddy. This partnership wasn't all work. Usher got a taste of the lavish lifestyle at Diddy's extravagant parties, which undoubtedly added a layer of sophistication to his emerging celebrity persona. The specifics of their shared experiences remained speculative until a live video stream around 2012, when Diddy let slip a revelation, admitting to a more intimate connection with Usher than just mentorship. However, Diddy quickly tried to defuse the situation with a dash of humor, making a reference to the boondocks in an attempt to lighten the mood. In a casual mention, Diddy reminisced about their playful wrestling matches over Frosted Flakes, highlighting the deep camaraderie they shared. Usher, present during this revelation, sported a look that mixed embarrassment with amusement, yet their brotherly bond appeared unshaken. I moved to New York City and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. In later interviews, Usher opened up about his early years, sharing insights into his life while living with Diddy at the age of 14. This period exposed him to the dazzling world of fame as Diddy's home became a hotspot for musical legends. Icons like Notorious B.I.G., Lil' Kim, Faith Evans, Mary J. Blige, and Craig Mack were regulars, with Usher fondly remembering his role as the little brother among these towering figures, affectionately nicknamed Baby Boo. When questioned about any potential strain in their relationship, Usher consistently maintained a diplomatic stance, always regarding Diddy as a brother. Amidst these fond recollections and close ties, some aspects of Usher's stay at Diddy's house remained shrouded in mystery, fueling further speculation. Following Tupac's shooting, rumors swirled that Diddy had paid Zip, who was supposed to pass the money to Keith D. The alleged intention behind this transaction was to silence Tupac, possibly on Diddy's orders. Keith D, who found himself arrested in connection with Tupac's murder, reportedly started revealing information, including hints at Diddy's involvement. Inside sources suggest Keith D has made allegations that Diddy orchestrated a setup against Tupac, driven by Tupac spreading rumors about Diddy's orientation. It's claimed Diddy offered a hefty sum of $1 million for Tupac's elimination, Fearing exposure after Tupac supposedly uncovered some of Diddy's closely guarded secrets and planned to reveal them in a diss track. This controversy hints at a deep-rooted rivalry between Diddy's Bad Boy Records and Tupac's label, Death Row Records. The purported motive for the hit on Tupac seems to stem from Diddy's apprehension about damaging his reputation in an industry where hidden prejudices still linger. Several industry insiders have alluded to whispers about Diddy's in the past. Even Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene, has recounted witnessing questionable incidents. These allegations add fuel to the speculation that Diddy was desperate to maintain his public image. The backstory includes an incident where Diddy's associate, Baby Lane, allegedly stole a chain from Death Row Records. This act, linked to Keith D's nephew, Baby Lane, is believed to have exacerbated tensions, possibly leading to the tragic drive-by shooting. Persistent rumors suggest that Diddy placed a bounty on Tupac's head, with claims from Keith D's circle that the FBI traced the funds Diddy allegedly paid out. However, it's rumored that the money never reached Keith D due to the interception by a greedy intermediary. Recent developments, including Keith D's arrest and Diddy's subsequent questioning by law enforcement, have amplified these speculations. There's talk that Keith D might collaborate with the police, potentially divulging details about Diddy's purported role in the saga. This situation has prompted a re-examination of Diddy's past actions, including his efforts to quash rumors about his with notable incidents involving Wendy Williams. The controversy has even sparked discussions about other artists, such as 50 Cent, who have attempted to call out Diddy over the years. While these allegations are intriguing, the truthfulness of Keith D's revelations remains uncertain, raising questions about whether he's seeking a reduced sentence through cooperation. This evolving story continues to captivate the public on social media, leaving many to ponder the intricate web of events surrounding Tupac's murder and Diddy's alleged involvement. As we follow the unfolding drama of Usher supporting Cassie and the potential exposure of Diddy's supposed secrets, the internet is abuzz with theories and conjecture. The complexities of this narrative, from historical tensions between Bad Boy Records and Death Row Records, to the rumors about Diddy's have ignited widespread discussion. With Usher's backing of Cassie and Keith D's revelations adding more layers to an already convoluted tale, it's crucial to approach these claims with a healthy dose of skepticism. The world of showbiz is notorious for its labyrinth of rumors, rivalries, and controversies, making the task of discerning fact from fiction a daunting one. Only time will reveal whether Diddy will face legal repercussions or if these startling revelations will simply dissolve into the ever-expanding mosaic of celebrity gossip. That concludes our deep dive into this tangled tale.
We are eager to hear your perspectives on this unfolding drama. Your insights and opinions are valuable to us and enrich the ongoing conversation. Thank you for engaging with us and contributing to this discussion.